Okay. Here is one autism disability symptom. The most people, the symptom that people, including the staff from my group home, uses to disrespect you by upper dosing your medicine, like what normal people who have control over your medicine, what people do to disrespect you and to upper dose your medicine to avoid taking accountability of your pills. This is what they do, all right? This is a symptom that is also used for discriminatory purposes. Being angry, being sad. Like people, like doctors be like asking you, what's your mood? Why are you, like, what's your mood? Like they be like, what's your mood? Like, how are you feeling? But they be like, what's your mood? And how do I say this? What's your mood? And they, but here's the thing. If you show any signs of sadness or anger, anger, you don't even need to react in a negative way. You don't even need to, you don't even need to throw a tantrum or anything. You can even show signs of anger. And staff will make it a psychiatric emergency. Like whoever has control over your medicine will make it a psychiatric emergency. And, and they will upper dose your medicine. That's exactly what my staff members did to me. Like they will set you up, put you in a situation to make you upset. And then once you get upset, they just upper dose your medicine. Like, oh, I don't know why she's acting this way. He just gets angry for no reason. Like, like, like anger isn't a valid emotion. Like, we expected to be happy all the time. We expected to be happy and jolly all the time while they get to throw tantrums and argue and act and act completely emotionally unstable all the time. Like, one thing they should do. Like, this starts happening and I think I think if the group home is gonna be like this, gonna be this horrible towards people with disabilities, I think that the people I think that the staff it should be mandatory for the staff to take medicine if they can't get along with people with disabilities. They need to take medicine and they need to be monitored while taking medicine. They need to be monitored with by the police or some form of security guard while taking their medicine. And if they don't, they get arrested. I don't know what God I don't know what God would say, but it's like this is just my opinion. Like, if we need to upper dose our medicine. If nothing we want for ourselves when it comes to medicine doesn't matter, then they need medicine because they ain't emotionally stable to leave us alone. They need to take whatever medicine that we take because they can't get along with us. Get a little bit of some insight of what it's like to be mentally disabled. And until we move out, they get to stop taking me. They get to stop taking medicine. Like until we move out, or we get out, 
or whatever, they get to stop taking medicine. But if they keep up with this reactive abuse, like starting stuff with us and calling authorities whenever we react back, calling authorities whenever we act, calling authorities whenever we react back, Then, uh, how do I say this? Then, whatever, then they need to, uh, then they need to get, receive whatever high dosage of medicine that they are suggesting on us. They need to receive whatever high dosage dosage of medicine that they are suggesting on us because they won't leave us alone. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't make the same mistake I did. Never give anybody the rights over, never give anybody the right to talk for you when it comes to your medical issues. Never give anybody the right to talk over you, to talk for you when it comes to your medical issues. I don't care if it's a group home. I don't care if it's any of that. I don't care if they say it's legally required. No. Don't give them the right to talk over you to your medical issues because whatever it comes to medication and all that stuff, nothing you will want will, will matter. Nothing you want will matter. So, all I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say is just, do not do it. Don't let them help you with anything medication, doctor related, okay? No. All right. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, when it comes to this reactive abuse, there got to be, like, some form of justice when it comes to that. Because one thing about what staff is, what my staff is doing, they're moving my stuff around to set me up into accusing them of something. So, when I do it, they upper the dosage of my medicine. They upper the dosage of my medicine just to avoid taking accountability. So the way up. All right. Okay. But, like, but they're not doing it to help me. They're doing it to literally insult me. Okay, we we members of group homes need to start speaking up about the abuses and the reactive abuses of these permanent housings that we go through. About how we go through as a community. Because, like, if we don't say something about it, if we don't speak up, Nothing is going to be fixed. So here's the thing. So, yeah. Like, the government needs to set some laws. Like, here's the thing. If you can't treat people with mental disabilities with respect, then you deserve whatever medicines that they got. You deserve whatever medicines that they got or even a higher dosage of medicines than they do until they move out of that group home. So yeah, God bless.